My car battery is on its last legs. I used my spare 100 watts flexible solar panel to put together this setup to keep the car battery charged when I'm waiting for the new one to arrive. I got a pair of the alligator clamps with SAE connection with the solar charging controller. The wire rate isn't the best, but it's just a quick prototype. MC4 connectors. The charging current, I'm sorry, the charging voltage is 13.7 volts, which is pretty close to the um, engine, gas engine recharge voltage. And we have a couple of uh, USB type A connectors there. Optionally have these um, load. These uh, I can potentially hook up a 12 volt load there. And it gets pretty hot, so I created a spacer to you know, encourage ventilation and airflow. I also left the solar controller in this position so it's not getting a direct sunlight to avoid overheating. After about an hour, the voltage is 14.2. I also doubled the output by using the MC4 connectors. Thirteen point eight volts. Connection is really easy. There's no way you could have got this wrong. Okay, it's still charging. So hopefully the uh, power consumption is doubled. And now let's uh, go into the car and see if we can start it. Not bad. It is totally doable. This is an interstate battery to replace my Honda Odyssey 2014. Super heavy. Alright, let's do it. Okay, I have already removed the bad battery. Um, the terminal and cover the air engine intake. And use a 10 millimeter wrench to tighten all the screws and remove the brackets and now we have a uh, freshly installed battery for the Honda Odyssey. I think I may get a um, two rain SAE connection uh, to maintain it. Got a Black & Decker battery maintainer hooked up to the battery. Not yet. Just want to show you guys the voltage which is 12.45 volts all right let's start charging immediately, immediately goes up all right that is my freshly installed battery 